Welcome back everybody, today's deep dive is going to be exciting. Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS is finally here, and we've got an article from OMG Ubuntu to guide us. Oh, this is going to be fun. Being an LTS release, we know we're talking long-term support here, but what makes this particular release stand out to you? Well, for me, it's the hardware support. They've packed in Linux kernel 6.11 and Mesa 24.2.8 right out of the gate. Nice. That's got to be good news for anyone running newer hardware. Yeah, absolutely. Although, speaking of new, the article did mention a slight delay in the release. Oh, yeah. They pushed it back. Just by a week. Happens sometimes, you know? Sure, sure. It does make you wonder, though, what kind of last-minute tweaks they are making. I know. Could be anything, but... What do you think usually causes those sorts of delays, even if it's just a week? Sometimes it's something as simple as a bug that pops up late in testing. Ah, makes sense. Got to squash those before relief. Exactly. Especially with a point release like this, it's all about providing a smooth experience for users. So they don't want folks downloading a ton of updates right after installing. Precisely. A slight delay can actually be a good sign that the developers are taking that extra time to get things right. I like that perspective. Polish is definitely important, especially for something as complex as an operating system. Couldn't agree more. So for someone who's maybe thinking about switching to Ubuntu, what would you say makes this point release particularly attractive? Well, imagine this. You're getting a brand new car right off the lot. Okay, I'm following. But it's not just any car. It's been tuned up, got all the latest upgrades, ready to hit the road. Ah, I see where you're going with this. That's kind of what this point release feels like. You get those updated drivers, the new kernel I mentioned, plus a bunch of other updates. Like what? Like Gnome Shell 46.0. They've got LibreOffice 24.2.7 and Mozilla Firefox 135 in there too. So basically, everything's up to date. The latest and greatest. You're getting a smoother desktop experience, better graphics performance, and all that up-to-date software all in one package. And they even mentioned Firefox updating to the absolute latest version during or after installation. Yep. It's like the system is constantly evolving, getting better, even as you're using it. That's pretty cool. And because it's an LTS release, that continuous improvement is going to keep going for a while. Oh, yeah, for a good long while. How long are we talking here? Support for this version goes all the way until April 2029. Five years. That's impressive. I know a lot of folks really value that peace of mind. Absolutely. Knowing your system is going to be secure and updated for that long is a big deal. Speaking of support, the article mentioned something called Ubuntu ESM and Ubuntu Pro. Right. Those are definitely worth checking out if you need even more support or have specific security requirements. Okay, so what are those exactly? Think of ESM, which stands for Extended Security Maintenance, like an extended warranty. You get those critical security patches and updates even after that initial five-year window closes. So you're covered for even longer. Exactly. And Ubuntu Pro, well, that's like the premium package, expanded security coverage, support for a full 10 years, and even some cool features like kernel live patching. Kernel live patching. What's that all about? Imagine this. You can apply those kernel updates without having to reboot your system. Oh, wow. That's handy. No more downtime just to keep things secure. You got it. So whether you're a home user who values stability or a business that needs that extra level of security, Ubuntu's got you covered. That's awesome. They're really providing options for everyone. And speaking of the future, the article did mention the next release on the horizon. Ubuntu 24.04.3 coming in summer 2025. And what can we expect with that one? Well, they're planning to include Linux kernel 6.44. And here's the kicker. It's being backported from Ubuntu 25.04. Backported? That sounds familiar, but I can't quite place it. Think of it like this. You have a classic car. I love a good car analogy. And you want to give it a performance boost. Who wouldn't? So you take the engine from a brand new sports car, all shiny and powerful, and you carefully modify it to fit perfectly into your classic car. You're giving that classic car a serious upgrade. That's essentially what backporting is. They take a feature, in this case the newer kernel, from a later version of the software and make it work seamlessly with an older version. Ah, uh, I get it now. That's pretty clever. You get all the benefits of new technology without having to wait for a whole new Ubuntu release. Exactly. And for users who value both the latest technology and the fedability of an LTS release, that's a win-win situation. It's like having your cake and eating it too. So to sum it all up, this point release is shaping up to be quite the package. It really is. And for anyone looking for a reliable, up-to-date, and secure computing experience, I think Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS is definitely worth a look. Agreed. And I encourage everyone listening to give Ubuntu a try, explore that amazing community, and discover the power and flexibility of this incredible operating system. I couldn't agree more. This has been an amazing deep dive. Until next time, everyone, keep exploring and happy computing. Happy computing. <laughs>